Hi, I'm Kev and welcome back to your channel. Sometimes I'll visit haunted locations, sometimes I'll visit abandoned places, sometimes I'll visit historical places. Today I'm at Crosby Beach, known locally as Blitz Beach. We're going to take a walk up and have a look at the historical site up the road. It's amazing to be here. On this beach, it's just surrounded by rubble from World War II. During the whole of World War II, Liverpool was the most bombed city outside of London. The attacks just didn't happen in May 1941. They actually started in August 1940, but it was in May 1941 when Liverpool saw its heaviest bombardment, starting on the 1st of May at quarter past 10 at night. For seven nights straight, Liverpool took a hammer. 681 Luftwaffe bombers dropped a total of 2,315 high explosive devices over the city. A army is what remains of 6,500 houses completely destroyed. 190,000 houses were damaged, leaving 70,000 people homeless. Roads, transport links, trains, trams, everything was just decimated. Hundreds of them, hundreds of roads, hundreds of train tracks, just decimated. Bootlin and all of the city took the heaviest hits. Just south of here, just down the road. Most notably being the Corp Air Aid Shelter on the corner of Ash Street and Stanley Rose. It took a direct hit. No one knows exactly how many people died, but dozens of bodies were recovered and placed in a temporary mortuary, which later itself was destroyed from the relentless bombing from the Germans. The Germans even stated that the bombings on the Saturday of that week were the heaviest that their air force had ever made on Britain. After the raids of May in 1941, the Germans' air assaults diminished as Hitler turned his attention to the Soviet Union. The final German air raid took place on the 10th of January 1942. The people of Liverpool weren't to know that. In total, 3,899 people lost their lives between August 1940 and January 1942. Around me is what remains, the memories. You look all around, you can, you can just see bricks because when the cleanup started, this is where they all got brought to. Just history all around you. You can see some of the bricks being washed over every day for, for over 80 years and they've been rounded off. Even the biggest of boulders are all rounded off. Don't get me wrong. 
A lot of the bricks here are after the war too, the 1970s. They decided to put loads of bricks down here because it acts as a deterrent against erosion. You can come down here anytime you want and pick up a piece of history. Take it home. These are once people's homes. Now, they're just rubble on a beach. Later on in May 1941, the then Prime Minister Winston Churchill visited the city. He took a look around and he said, I see the damage done by our enemies, but I also see the spirit of unconquered people. And even today, that stays too. We never lie down and take it. Even when people try to put us down, lift poorly and stand tall. Always will. Always have done. It was a working class city back then. Still a working class city now. The spirit that then people went through and brought through the war They've instilled into future generations like myself, like my children, like their grandchildren when they have them, you know, they'll always be fighters, the whole city will. All around me is just rubble. Some of us not off in the war, as I said. But some of it is. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Likes and comments are always appreciated. Let me know what you want to see next. So we see my videos. Look after yourselves. See you later.